dear students today we will discuss why sterility is common in men working in hot surrounding spermatogenesis requires temperature considerably lower than the interior of the body if we look at the male reproductive system we will see that the male reproductive system consists of testis then epididymis and the vas deferens it will go and meet with the seminal vesicle and they will form the ejaculatory duct will come out from it it will drain into the prostatic part of the urethra then we will have the penile part of the urethra so and the penis so these are the parts of the male reproductive system and their major functions are two one is the spermatogenesis synthesis of sperm and second is the steroidogenesis that is synthesis of testosterone now spermatogenesis it happens in the testis and after it is synthesized into the testis it is passed into the epididymis now where lies the testis testis are situated or placed in a separate sac uh, that is uh, hanging away from the body so we can see that here is a testis it is placed outside the abdomen it is hanging away from the body now if we look into the female gonadal system or genital system the female gonads or ovaries they are well preserved in the abdominal cavity so there is no other extra abdominal sac in case of female then why has the nature provided a separate external compartment for male gonads that we will see because this scrotum is a sac it keeps the testis at about 2 to 3 degree centigrade below the core body temperature as this external sac is created outside the abdomen this will help to keep the testis 2 to 3 degree centigrade below than the core temperature of the body why because this lessening of temperature is highly favorable for the spermatogenesis which is one of the most important function of this testis so spermatogenesis to happen we need a lesser temperature now we know that scrotal temperature is cooler than the core body temperature now what are the physiological explanation for it first is the anatomical location so scrotum forms the sacs that are like outpouching of the body and which has less direct transmission of the inner body temperature into it so testis being placed in the scrotum it avails scrotal temperature which is 2 to 3 degree centigrade lesser than the core body temperature or the abdominal temperature the second explanation is presence of pampiniform plexus of the blood vessels now these plexus of the blood vessels they serve as counter current exchanger between the warm arterial blood this you will see that the warm arterial blood it is entering to the artery here testicular artery and the cooler venous blood it leaving the testis so when it is moving down this warm arterial blood it is releasing the heat and at the lower part it is attaining a temperature of 33 degree centigrade and this heat is taken away by the uh, venules so this counter current exchange action of the pampiniform plexus plexus it also helps uh, for the helps to maintain the scrotal temperature below now the third explanation is the role of the cremasteric and the dartos muscle so this is the cremasteric muscle we can see here this cremasteric muscle is a small band of skeletal muscle present in the spermatic cord and 
it contracts or relaxes in response to change in the environmental temperature. So, these cremasteric muscles present in the spermatic cord, they will relax or contract according to the changing temperature. So, it contracts on exposure of severe cold. So, when there is uh, temperature is uh, less, so it will contract and it will elevate the testis and so that the testis will come closer to the abdominal cavity. And when there is warm environment, it will relax and it will lower the testis. So, the contraction of the cremasteric muscle is responsible for the maintenance of low temperature. Another is, there is a flap of smooth muscle here that is the datos muscle. In the fascial layer of the scrotum, we will find this datos muscle. It contracts on exposure to cold. This increases the wrinkling of scrotal screen and facilitates the lifting of the testis. So, the cremasteric um, muscle contraction and relaxation and also the presence of datus muscle, this will also help to maintain a lesser body, a lesser temperature in the scrotum as compared to core body temperature. As we all know, initially in the fetal life, testis is actually placed in, inside the abdomen. So, during the process of embryological de development, there will be descent of testis. The fifth, the fifth week of intrauterine life, testis begins its primary descent and there will be ascent of kidney. We can see here the uh, solen gubernaculum and the testis in this initial phase of testicular descent. At around 8 to 9th week, it will, it, will, it will be pulled down into the inguinal canal. So, we can, here we can see gubernaculum uh, migrating and pulling the testis into the scrotal sac. And this inguinal phase, it will last up to uh, 35 weeks. And after that, final uh, positioning of the testis and the closure of the inguinal canal, it will happen in between 35 to 40 weeks. Okay. So, in this way, there will be automatic uh, descent of the testis from the abdominal cavity into the scrotum. Now, spontaneous descent of testis is the rule. Now, if a baby it, if has the undescended testis or cryptoorchidism, that is a condition to worry. The, although the proportion of boys with undescended testis, it falls to around 2% at age 1 year and 0.3% after puberty. But whatever small proportion it may be, if a child is having undescended testis, and the testicle has not moved into the scrotum by 3 to 4 months of age. So, what will happen? There will be irreversible damage to the uh, testis and it will be unable to generate sperm in the later years. So, that is the reason early treatment is recommended because we know that if the testicle remains within the abdomen, so there are chances of malignant tumor is much higher. Okay, so malignant tumors are more common in undescended testis than the scrotal testis because after puberty, the higher temperature in the abdomen eventually causes irreversible damage to the spermatogenic epithelium. So, intra-abdominal testis, it can cause malignant tumors and also there will be no synthesis of sperm and male type of infertility will happen. Now we know that increased temperature of the testis, it inhibits spermatogenesis and that is the reason why naturally testis is descended from the abdomen into the scrotal sac which has 2 to 3 degrees centigrade lesser temperature than the core body temperature. And not only the undescended testis, if a person takes repeated hot baths, and the athletes who use insulated athletic support to the scrotum. So, they, these supports will actually raise the scrotal temperature and they will have less sperm count. So, this explains why sterility is common in men 
working in hot surrounding this is the reference thank you and subscribe the channel